Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and um, in this video, I'm going to review Sleepy Hollow Season 1, Episode 2, um, Blood Moon. Now, this episode was not as good as last week's, like, the premiere was really, really good. This episode was still good, but there wasn't as much, um, happening in this episode. It wasn't as intense as last week's, but I did really enjoy it. There still was a lot of things, and it still was a really good episode, so. There was a lot of things to talk about, so let's just get started. Um, there's not as much to talk about, but one of the things I have to talk about is I love that Ichabod Crane um, is questioning things that are going on in the modern world. Like, he doesn't, in this episode, he didn't understand how a phone works, an electronic device works. He doesn't even understand how a shower works. I thought that scene in the morgue was hilarious. So it was one, I think it was the way they began it. It, it was absolutely hilarious. I really like that scene. Because, I mean, he's an outsider, and it's great to see all of this happening. This is exactly what I wanted Dark Shadows to be. It's exactly what it was not, and this is exactly what I wanted it to be, and it was really, really good. So I really enjoyed uh, this, too. I didn't like Dark Shadows, but I enjoyed this. Um, also, um, we see that he's kind of, um, he also questioned Dunkin' Donuts on why they charge donuts for so much and that's true why do they charge donuts for so much you know that kind of had me thinking but here's the biggest thing we basically find out that john cho is not dead he he that is right he faked his own death he did not kill himself he he didn't he faked his own death so we'll have to see what's happening here and i don't know where this is going to go though but he's not dead he didn't kill himself he's still alive he just faked his own death um I don't really know what's going to happen here, but we'll just have to see. The case this week they had to figure out was there was apparently this ghost from Ichabod's time uh, that is, you know, still haunting them, and they want to resurrect the ghost and kill her, um, do whatever they can. No, not a ghost, a witch, but they want to kill the witch, and they want to do whatever they can to kill her. And uh, that was basically the theme. Uh, the other theme is that they're kind of working together now. Uh, hang on one second. Sorry, that was my phone. Um. So, um, basically though, I, I that, that was cool to see. But the one thing I didn't like about this episode was it didn't have as much really cool effects. The effects have gotten better on this episode. Like, there were some really good effects, but there wasn't as much. The, dude, the thing I like, though, is that they are keeping the Headless Horseman pretty much a secret. We are not seeing the actual face of him. We're not seeing who the Headless Horseman is. And that's something I really like. I mean, the Headless Horseman doesn't have a head. And we're not hearing his voice. We're not hearing anything. And I, I really enjoy that. I like that they're keeping it secret like this. And that's that's something that I really did enjoy. Um, so yeah, that I really liked. Um, what else to talk about? Oh, we got more of, um, what's her name? Abby's, uh, backstory. We found out that I believe her parents, apparently, someone was kidnapped by, uh, this ghost and... She's kind of, she's seeing the ghost of someone, and I don't remember why she's seeing the ghost of them, and she's not really sure why. We're going to have to see, though. Um, so we're just going to have to see where that comes in. Also, why is Ichabod seeing his wife? I don't really understand why Ichabod is seeing his wife all of a sudden. Like, why are you seeing your wife? What, why is she here? What, what is she here for? And um, I, I really hope that this is, there's a reason why he's seeing her. There has to be a reason why. And we basically need to find out the reason why. Um, so yeah, there, there is a reason why she's there, but we don't really know the reason. So we'll just have to find out what the reason is. Um, so basically, then at the end of the episode, we basically find out that Abby has a sister. And Abby's sister is coming into town. And she wants to also help them out with the case. But I think she's going to try to take over stuff a little bit. It kind of seems like her sister... Um, I don't know, we're going to have to see what happens with her sister, um, so we'll have to see. But overall, I did really enjoy this episode. It was not as good as last week's, but I did enjoy it. There is not as much to say. Um, but I did enjoy it, and it was enjoyable. So I did enjoy the episode. It was enjoyable, and it, it was still good. The things I liked, of course, were, Ichab you know, Ichabod, um, you know, uh, questioning 
I seem, you know, stuff that's going on in the modern world. I, I love that. I think that's a great comedic aspect of the show. Uh, John's show being revealed, that, that, I mean, that, that image is just so creepy. Um, the improvements of the effects, they got a lot better this episode. And the effects were good. It's just that the effects were better this episode, I think. And they are, they're keeping their other source of the secret. So those are things I like. Not much to say about this episode, but that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry this was a shorter review. There just wasn't as much that happened in this episode. It was still a really good episode, but there wasn't as much that happened. So really not as much to talk about. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to be watching. I have three other shows to watch. Mom, The Blacklist, and Hostages. I will be watching those three, and I'll review them to you. So see you then. Bye.